Hello folks and welcome back. This is Sandeep from Tutorial Brain and in this Adobe Brackets tutorial series, I'm going to show you a very important feature that is Quick Edit. Before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell icon. Now, we have been discussing or we will be discussing about quick edit in lot of videos. So quick edit feature is a very good feature in Adobe Brackets and that is the reason I wanted to have a very quick video about this quick edit feature. So what exactly is quick edit? Now say you are in your HTML file and suppose you are here and this is the h1 tag right. Let me just uh, zoom in a little bit. So this is the h1 tag right. Now suppose if you want to style this h1 tag, so you have this CSS file, right? Where you will just write all the style related information about the tags, right? So now, if you want to change anything, the traditional way is you have to go to the CSS file and then you have to change here. Now, if you are using brackets, then if you want to change the style of h1, what you can do is you can just bring your cursor here, then you have to give control E in your keyboard in case if you're working on Windows and if you're working on Mac, then you have to give command E. All right. So let's press control E and you notice that the styles related to H1 will be opened directly from the main file itself. So you don't have to go to main.css and then you can see that H1 is defined here, right? So here directly you can change the values. For example, if you see here, I can change this value to something like say blue okay and you can also save it as well and if you just want to close this you can just uh, click on this icon or you can press escape on your keyboard so if I just press escape and if I just go to my main.css you see that this is the change value right now let's come back here to the main file and say uh, first let me just go to here and okay I can just see here that h2 is defined here separately and h2 is also defined here as well right so what I'll do is this time I'll just try to edit my h2 related CSS so I'll just bring my cursor here anywhere and I'll just give control E now you notice if you just bring your cursor here and if you press control E this will show that no quick edit available for current cursor position because this is the text right so you have to be in your tags right so if you just come here and if you just click control e on your keyboard if you just press that it will open that right so let me first close this so either you can position here or you can position your cursor here so let me just position here and if i just give control e you see that this time this particular h2 is defined here as well as some other places. I mean, if you just want to see that, what you can do is you can just give alt and then bottom arrow. So if you just come here and if you just give alt and bottom arrow, you see that you come to this particular uh, h2. I mean, if you just see h2 is defined here as well as here. Now, let me first close this. So first time, if you just give control E, it will show you the first style in the order. So it is here as well as here. So if you want to switch to here, if you just click here, you will come to here. Or if you want to see the previous style, you can just click here and you can see the CSS related to this, right? Now, if you don't want to use your cursor, what you can do is you can just press Alt and then bottom arrow and you will move to the next CSS. So if I just give Alt bottom arrow, you see that it has come to this particular location. Now, if you want to go back to the previous one, you can just give Alt and then top arrow. So you see that you have come here. And the other important thing is, if you just see here, let me just zoom in. You can see that this main.css, this is a link. Okay. So if you just click on this link, it will open in this particular editor as well. So if I just click here, you see that it will open this file. And the other thing is like, if you move to the index.html file, you see that this quick edit option is still there. I mean, it is not automatically closed. So unless you close it explicitly, it will not automatically close. So I'll just 
press escape and it will be closed now suppose i am in p tag and if i just click ctrl e and you see that in this case there is no rule right so if there is no rule it will not show the css because there is no rule for that particular tag right now from here itself you can create new rule and if you just click on this new rule you see that it has created this new rule so you can just add something like say padding and i'll just give padding equals say uh, 5 pixel and if i just close this and if i just go to my main.css you will notice that style related to this p tag is added here so either you can edit the existing css or you can even create a new css for a tag okay and let's go back here and suppose if i'm here and let's say okay we'll do one thing mm, let me just go to my main.css and uh, suppose i have this color suppose if you bring your cursor here you can see this color right that is it is showing some sort of bluish color i mean sky blue and if i just press ctrl e here you notice it will open this color picker and here you can directly change the color right so either you can just give this color in hexadecimal or you can just uh, change it to rgba value or you know hsla as well so it is up to you now if you just want to close this again press escape and it will be closed right so again let me just show you you should uh, keep your cursor here in the value and then you have to give ctrl e and it will open the color picker for you and from here you can pick the option in either hsl or rgba so if i just click on rgba notice this particular value is now in rgb format and you can also click and go back to a hex and hsla right and from here also you can just select the value right so this is a very good feature and this is not only limited to here so let me show you another feature so see this is one transition right so in this particular code you see that this is a transition so if i just press here ctrl e you see that i can even change my transition also okay you notice if i am changing this graph this particular value here here this value will keep on changing okay so let me just drag this point and you see that this cubic b is here will automatically change the values right so you can also change transition using this particular quick edit feature okay now this quick edit is not only limited to html or css in fact it can be used with other files as well for example let me just switch to some php project if i just come here and first of all let me just set the project path and let me just open this index.php and i'll just open this particular live preview okay so let me just close this this is not required and this is also not required so this is just a sample project so here say this is the php file right now if i just bring my cursor here in this particular tag that is body and if i just press ctrl e you see that it has opened this particular css here itself that is bootstrap.css right so if you see this is the particular css it is talking about okay this is the particular css and if i just go back again to here index.php if i just change the value for example if i just say like uh, body i mean margin equals say 10 pixel and let me just save it so if i just give control s you see that it is changed and if i just go to bootstrap.css you see that this value automatically reflects here right so i don't have to go back to my css file and then uh, save the changes right and again if you have any color related or uh, you have any transition you can change here as well so for example if i just come here and if i just give ctrl e you notice it has opened this color picker here as well now in case if you need uh, more details about brackets quick edit feature then i'll upload all the details to our website that is tutorialbrain.com and i'll just give the link below here so you can just go there and then look for all the details 
So I hope this video is useful for you. Leave a comment below if you have any question. I will try to answer it. So thanks for watching it. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Take care. Bye.